Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create a complex repeat pattern in the app IBS Paint Text. So here I will be creating a watercolor like illustration and I will make it repeat and I will be using some Procreate style uh, repeating methods to create this uh, repeat pattern. So if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. And here you can see there is one is to one ratio canvas. You can either use that or otherwise in that option you can create the custom size like this that I'm doing like 3000 cross 3000 pixel. And this is my canvas. And here in the first layer I'm going to draw a leaf. So a branch. And for that I'm using lasso tool. Why? Because I'm going to create a, a watercolor pattern, repeat pattern. So usually if you are following my uh, illustration for a long time, uh, following my channel for a long time, you'll know how I create watercolor illustration. So this is how I create uh, using laser tool. I select the areas to be uh, filled with watercolor and then use multiple watercolor brushes like watercolor edge brush watercolor real brush and watercolor bleed brush all these things so uh, since this is not a main illustration this is a repeat pattern so we are going to create elements for our pattern so this is the one of the element for our pattern so I didn't use so much brushes also this is tutorial mainly for the repeat pattern making and not for the watercolor so I'm keeping it simple but uh, elegant as well so here I can uh, you can see I'm adding some shiny uh, details using the watercolor real brush I will give the brush details of the uh, above uh, in a space, a space or below space you can check out the brush and now I created this branch and I'm going to duplicate this element and position in uh, other space like this. Just using the transform tool and the rotating options and moving and placing like this. Now I, I'm going to place everything on the single layer. So I'm just merging them and now I'm going to draw two oranges. So for that, I'm just creating a new layer and I'm going to draw why I'm creating uh, everything in a new layer and then merging is because uh, if you're drawing something and if you want to transform at a whole uh, uh, layer, uh, like a whole layer and uh, uh, you know, you, you already have that leaves uh, in that layer, it will be like uh, very complex to adjust the position or size so for that sake I will just draw everything on separate layer and once I feel everything like size color everything is perfect then I will merge or you can keep that as a, a separate layers as well and you can group them using the uh, folder option so it's either in either way it's uh, your option how to use it to say keep it simple and you know avoid uh, lots of layers so because during a tutorial it will be like very confusing so for that purpose I'm just keeping everything in a single layer so here you can see I almost finished drawing these oranges so you can see some textures here so that's the main attractive thing about the watercolor so like this and also you can see I didn't use any texture background for creating this uh, watercolor uh, illustration. So now I created oranges. I just removed that orange selection and I'm going to draw the uh, a small stem and a leaf above this orange. So if you feel there is anything merging between the leaf and orange then you can clear that layer once you have selected in that way you will erase whatever inside that uh, you know leaf 
and you can draw this without merging of colors. Okay, now it's almost ready. So we have uh, finished our main elements though there are some few, uh, you know, there are uh, more spaces here and there. To fill that space, I'm going to draw a single leaf here and there like this. And same process, I'm going to fill with the same watercolor brushes like this. And now my elements are ready. But it looks like, uh, you know, it it is, you know, very small. So I'm going to duplicate into, uh, four times. And at the last layer, I'm going to keep that as for the future purpose if I need. And I'm switching the visibility off of every other layer and keeping only the first layer on. And now using the transform tool, I'm going to push in it to the one quarter of that NTS square like this if you have doubt you can use some you know uh, um, grade, uh, uh, guide a ruler like that but I feel okay with this so you can just change the push and angle a little bit so that it looks uh, not exact repetition of uh, co next in order the exact copy of that first um, art work. Now I'm coming with that to that third layer. I also here you can see two leaves are merging from first layer as well as uh, from third layer. If you feel anything like that happening, you can just erase any part of that like this. So here I'm going to the first layer and I'm going to erase this stem like this also this leaf without the stem looks awkward so i'm erasing that as well yeah like this now it looks like not exact repetition so that what uh, that's what i want and now in the fourth layer i'm just doing the same thing but i'm just going to change the angle a little bit like this now you can see that is uh that it doesn't look like an exact copy of the uh, single uh you know single a uh, few elements it looks like we have done so much um elements in that so this now acts like the tile so now i just merged everything do a single layer and I'm going to duplicate that. If you want to use that as a, a tile, you can use that layer. And if you want to repeat on the IBS paint text itself, then just go to the another layer that and we can use the transform tool in that. Use the repeat option visible here in the translate scale. Once you switch on that and zoom in you will get the repeat pattern like this so now if you want to save that as png like this then since we didn't apply any background you can just click save as transparent png and if you want to add any multiple colors of background then create a, another layer below this pattern and you can use any color like this make sure you use the current layer option in the bucket tool and choose it. You can choose the color which looks perfect for this. I look this, uh, I feel like, uh, you know, this color looks good. Now I'm going to save this as PNG. And now I'm going to show you the magic, the repeat pattern that I have created. In the IBS Paint Text looks like I have created in a Procreate app or something like that. But no, it's very beautiful. And if you are watching this, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.